Yo, it is good YouTube. Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be doing or taking a look at these brand new bold cards coming today here in NBA 2K24. My team, Dark Matter, Steph, two Galaxy Opals, Richard Jefferson and Julius Randle, and then three Pink Diamonds, Boris Diaw, OG Ananobi, and Jalen Duran. Uh, all of these cards are attainable for free today. We don't know the requirements to get them for free yet, but that is something that we will find out here in about an hour and 15 minutes from when I'm recording this video. And of course, I will make a video um, that will be released on my channel in just a little bit where I uh, talk about how to get each of these cards individually. So before we hop into if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if you failed to subscribe. And without further ado, let's officially hop right into it. Let's talk about these cards. Start with the pink diamonds, Jalen Duran at uh 6 11 with a 7 5 wingspan does have incredible size and athletic ability um hall of fame batters include basically a, bun a bunch of finishing batters a ton of defense and then big jar blow by and speed booster very little shooting ability whatsoever um 73 ball 80 mid-range though is high enough to where you can hit wide open and he's got what 93 speed 95 98 standing and 95 driving dunk elite level versatile defense as well this card is an awesome defender he's a great finisher he's big fast and athletic really versatile interesting card reminds me a lot actually of Dwight Howard but um, I will say there's one thing that this card does not have and that is a good release Jalen Duran base on slow is not I do not believe very good at all also SIGs are really bad bad dribble style bad escape and bad same side has the three of the most important SIGs and all three of them suck uh, in my opinion I just don't think this Jalen Duran card looks all that good to me on paper I, if he had better animations and a faster release I would have a completely different opinion because defensively he's awesome as a dunker he's awesome and athletically speed wise he's awesome but with a horrible release horrible sigs and that type of stuff that really limits how capable this card could be uh, which is a shame because I actually think he would have been an absolute dog with a nice release and a little bit better sigs um, OG Ananobi is likely a 3 and D budget monster at the shooting guard position. Six foot seven with a 7'2 wingspan. Hot spots from literally everywhere. What 19 Hall of Fame badges include blinders, catch, corner, limitless, slippery off ball, and spot finder, blow by speed booster, and then an absolute ton of defense. Has gold immovable enforcer. Badge wise, what he is missing, I would say maybe touch passer, maybe rise up. That's about it. I know his finishing badges are only on gold, but 90 driving dunk isn't bad. 93 ball, certainly not bad at all either with very good shooting badges, good speed elite defender versatile defender really versatile card now is he a primary ball handler absolutely not sigs aren't close to good enough for that with lebron dribble style john wall's escape isn't terrible but in general sigs are not looking too hot that's okay though because his release is absolutely money he's an elite defender and he gives you a ton of size to shooting guard position this card provides a lot of value simply off of player build release and defense uh and that that makes him solid and, and intriguing at the shooting guard position just off of that. So if you don't have top tier gambling shooting guards and you're looking for somebody, I think this OG Ananobi is definitely one of the best cards from today's drop. And I understand despite only being a pink diamond, uh, I, I think he's going to be a really good card, a very competitive level shooting guard. Um, Boris Diaw. Boris Diaw, if I remember correctly, his animations on his ruby kind of sucked. So unlikely that this card is going to be that great either. But 6'8", 7 foot wingspan at small forward. Hot spots from basically everywhere. Uh, 19 offs include bulldozer, posterizer, precision dunker, agent 3, catch and shoot, corner specialist, limitless. Blow by, dimer, speed booster, anchor clamps, fast feed, immovable enforcer, and post lockdown. So... On paper, especially badge-wise, he's really, really complete for a pink diamond. He needs break starter handles for days, but he comes with pretty much everything. And he comes with a lot of key badges as well. Um, good speed, good shooter, solid dunker, versatile defender. 90 across the board on most important stats, actually. Um, but the release is not that good. Sigs are also not that good. Pro escape, little dribble style. Not a great behind the back, if I remember correctly. Vince's drag right isn't special. Pro 2 fade is great, but the Batum release, especially on normal, not special either. I think release and Sigs is the thing that holds this Boris D.L back because on paper stat and badge wise again he's kind of a dog um kind of in the same boat in all honesty as Jalen Duran, just in a different position but held back by his release and his animations Julius Randall and Richard Jefferson are two pretty interesting galaxy ovals honestly four free cards six eight with seven foot wingspan as Julius Randall um can play small forward now which is honestly kind of a big deal because he's a little undersized the power forward position but he does have a nice bulky player build hot spots from literally everywhere 27 hops include wow a lot of finishing bad just catch and shoot quarter specialist he's got gold agent three blinders comeback kid dead eye guard up green machine limitless open looks all that stuff uh Hoff big driver blow by and speed booster as well ton of defense including anchor clamps glove fast feed immovable enforcer interceptor rebound chaser red stick gripper i mean most of the important badges as well so good looking card versatile defender 90 standing and 95 driving dunk really fast uh 95 speed excel and speed ball 91 three ball 
I like him, man. He, he looks good at, at small forward. I think he'll actually be pretty good. And I remember Julius Randle's release being pretty solid, too. Now, excuse me. Now it's not very quick. He's got Steph's drag back, Kobe Jittle style. If this is a Jamal Murray behind the back in that pro behind the back slot, which I do not know if it is. But if it is, this, this, this Julius Randle card is going to be an absolute demon. Now, do I think it is? Honestly, I don't because I'm looking at it and that's what he had before was pro behind the back Kawhi moving crossover and Steph step back or drag back. And I don't think that that SIG for Julius Randle was uh, Jamal Murray behind the back. But if he's got a good behind the back, that'll be like the icing on top for a really, really good free opal. I do think this, uh, this Julius Randle is going to be a really, really solid card. Richard Jefferson is... Six seven seven foot wingspan shooting guard as well. Big versatile shooting guard. Hot spots from literally everywhere. Twenty seven hoffs include bulldozer, fast stretch, post riser, precision dunker, agent three blinders, catch claymore, dead eye, limitless slippery off ball, spit fi spot finder, corner specialist, blow by speed booster, and again, pretty much all the defense you need. You want to add brick wall? He's got gold and movable enforcer. Probably want to add dimer as well. Outside of that, again, he's not missing anything important statistically. 95 speed, 92 excel, 94 steel ball, 98 driving duck, 95 three ball. Defensively, very, very good. Uh, again, it's a really good looking shooting guard. Complete statistically, pretty complete badge wise. Um, very, very good looking shooting guard, but his release has not been changed. While it is on very quick, this catapult Richard Jefferson releases, honestly, still a pretty ugly and I don't think a very good release. So I don't know if his release is going to be all that great, even on very quick. And I think that does hold him back a little bit, but um, Kyrie dribble style. That escape could be one of a couple, and hopefully it's a good one. Like, I don't think Julius Randle's going to be... I mean, not Julius Randle. I don't think this Richard Jefferson card is going to be bad, but I just think he could be really, really good if he had slightly better animations. Unfortunately, that does not look like it's going to be the case, though. So that is kind of my point when I'm talking about Richard Jefferson in terms of um, the things that I don't like about it. It's really mainly the release. If the release was a lot better, I think I'd be really high on the card. And then finally, we get to Dark Matter Steph, who is entirely free. Free Dark Matter Steph is pretty cool. Um, 97 speed, Excel, speed of ball, 99 three ball, only an 80 driving dunk, 85 interior, 94 perimeter, 97 lateral, 97 steel, only a 75 block as well, though. He's only 6'2 with a 6'3 wingspan, not a huge player build, so a little bit limited there. Um, does not have bulldozer, post riser, precision dunker at all, um, but his shooting badges are obviously absolutely incredible. His playmaking badges are also top tier, and his defense is very, very good. He just doesn't have movable enforcer at all, needs brick wall, and just is, is too undersized to truly be a great defender but at least on the perimeter he will compete defensively he's super fast he's got all of his own animations still i honestly kind of would have liked to see them change a couple of his animations i understand i understand steph's animations in my team are always very good but i wouldn't have minded seeing a couple of his animations changed a little bit to maybe even some better ones but He'll be very fun to card to use. He'll be a very, very fun card to use. I don't think without being an elite level slasher nor having a ton of size that he can all, all be, really be all that top tier of an overall card at the point guard position compared to the best point guards in the game because of the lack of size and the lack of slashing. But he'll definitely be one of the most fun point guards in the game to use. And again, it's Steph Curry, absolute NBA legend. Like, obviously, um, that's an exciting card to grind for in my team. So I will give 2K props for dropping a free Steph. And I think this is a pretty good start to the season, honestly, in a lot of ways, outside of the gambling-only content. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do about that. And that doesn't seem like it's going to be ending anytime soon. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate you all. Peace.